What's going on guys, it's Brandon J and today I have some crazy incredible news for you. This has been a long time coming. I have been really excited to do this. I've been really excited to make this purchase and I've been really excited to step outside of the box and finally buy my brand new jet ski. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this and then tell you what we're gonna be doing today. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a great day. So this is my brand new jet ski. It's a 2018 Yamaha GP1800. It is one of the top of the line models they made for this year. And it is so freaking sick, man. I love this thing so much. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've actually had it for a few days now, but just like the truck, when I bought the truck, I didn't wanna just throw it on social media. I wanted to just go out, enjoy the truck, enjoy my purchase and uh, really just take the time to enjoy it myself. So now that I've done that, I've had so much fun on it. This thing is supercharged, it's extremely fast. I think the Coast Guard governs all the jet skis at like 72 miles an hour, but it gets there incredibly fast, it's insane. But really quick, even more important than that, I want you guys to know that without your support, none of this would have been possible. I mean, I'm 23 years old, I just bought my dream truck and like not even four or five months later, I bought my dream jet ski. So, I mean, without you guys' support, I wouldn't have been able to do all of this stuff. I wouldn't be able to go out and live my dreams and just explore the world, which has just been crazy. So I just want to say thank you really quick. And I think now it's time for me to tell you what we're going to be doing today. So last night I took this beautiful jet ski and then I modified it. Oh yeah, those are rod holders. <laughs> those are totally rod holders. I'm going to be attempting to go jet ski fishing today. I have no idea how this is going to go. This is actually gonna be my first time fishing by myself on a motorized anything. So I've been kayak fishing by myself, but I've actually never been fishing on a boat with a motor or a jet ski with a motor before in my life. So this is, this is gonna be brand new for me. Obviously jet ski fishing is a little bit weird. You might actually be saying to yourself, Brandon, you're a diver, you're a fisherman. Why did you buy a jet ski instead of a bass boat? I've been getting that question a lot, but here's the thing. A lot of people fish in bass boats. I wanna be different. I wanna think outside of the box. I wanna go do adventures that you can't do in bass boats that you can do in jet skis. But even more importantly than that, this has been like a childhood dream of mine. I remember my dad had jet skis way back in the day and they were so much fun and I really haven't rode a jet ski since. Well, I did rent one in Clearwater, but that doesn't really count. So this is really a dream come true of mine, and I'm gonna be doing some epic stuff on this. I'm gonna be driving out in the middle of the ocean, fishing in the middle of the ocean on this thing. I'm gonna be jumping off, doing spear fishing. It's gonna be crazy. You guys just have to trust me on this. The jet ski is a good move. All right, now that I think I'm done with like the longest intro ever, it is time for me to head to the boat ramp and attempt to go fishing today. My goal is to at least catch one fish. I might not catch anything, and I'm okay with that because I'm, I'm just trying all this out like i have no idea what i'm really getting into as far as like the logistics of this like i've got rod holders i don't really have a place to store tackle i kind of have my camera equipment waterproofed we'll see how it goes but uh i'm gonna try to catch a fish so i'm gonna catch you guys out in the water <sighs> this water is cold Whew. Oh man, this is gonna be a good day, boy. All right guys, so we got the jet ski in the water. I, I just can't explain how excited I am about this. I've been thinking of this exact moment for so freaking long. I've got the rods hooked up on the jet ski. I, oh man, I've got my waterproof bag to put my camera equipment in. I've got a little bit of tackle. I'm just, I'm so stoked. It's one of those things where, you know, you've had this idea for such a long time and then it finally happens and so I'm, the feelings that are going through my body is just accomplishment, excitement. I'm stoked for the future of this thing. I hope you guys are pretty excited about it too because it's pretty off the wall. Uh, but enough talking, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna try to catch some freaking fish on the jet ski, man. Let's do this thing. This spot looks pretty fishy for sure. All right, well, let's fish, man. I'm sitting in a bunch of hydrilla right now, like a ton of it. Um, I'm gonna throw the frog for a little bit. Are the fish here? I have no idea. But 
<laughs> with all the stuff they should be. I'm about to get him. Oh my god. He came up to it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. He's under it. Oh my god. He might have took off. Oh my god. I just had a bass under my frog. Oh my gosh. So we got a bunch of grass on this side, a bunch of grass on this side. That looks super juicy in there. That looks crazy good. Ton of hyacinths, lily pads, grass. Jeez. It's like big fish territory out there. A little gar right here. Hold on. See if I can catch him. Oh, he saw me. <laughs> There's another gar right there. He bit my frog right here. He literally, that, that was a gar, literally bit my frog right here. I can see him. All right, oh my gosh, there's so many gar here. I can see so many freaking gar. Check it out, he's gonna bite it. Oh, 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 get it. I'm gonna touch him with the tip of my rod. Boop. <laughs> They're just hanging out. All right, if there's that many gar sitting in this hydrilla, there's gotta be some, there's gotta be some bass hanging out in it too. All right guys, so a mid fishing update. It is going a little slow right now. I've actually never fished here before, so it probably wasn't the best place to start off with, but I was riding my jet ski. It's right across from where I bought it from. So I've just, uh, I'm kind of familiar with the lake now and saw a lot of stuff that looks really good. Right now I'm in lily pads in hydrilla. There's a ton of hydrilla around here. Um, it's all mixed throughout the lily pads. And in Florida, if you can find lily pads and hydrilla, like you're set. Uh, so I've been fishing a little bit. And obviously, as you guys could see, I was saying there's gar everywhere. And uh, I probably went across maybe like 20 gar something like that. So there's a ton of fish around here, just not the right fish that I'm looking for. Also right now, I'm just kind of letting the wind guide me around. It's just kind of uh, letting me flow all over the place, which has been pretty cool. But uh, I don't know, it's been, it's been really awesome. I can't complain. Even though I haven't caught any fish yet, it's still fun starting up the jet ski, driving to each spot, just kind of checking it out. But uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully I can get one guys. I'm trying really, really, really hard. I got one. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, I saw that little gar. He just ate it, man. Hold on. This is exciting. Oh no, did he come off? No. Oh, he just he just buried himself in the hydrilla. We got to get him out of there. He literally just buried his whole nose in the hydrilla. Ah, come on, gar. You're my first fish. Get out of there. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I got my first fish gar fishing. <laughs> That's sick. All right. I mean, I got my first fish. I got my first fish jet ski fishing. <laughs> no way. All right, let's get him in here. It's a fish and we got him in. Oh! He's, he's doing the death roll on me. He's doing the death roll. Hold on. I'm going to slide him in the... Uh... This is a mess. These guys have nasty teeth, so I don't want to... Uh, and they're super slimy. Oh man, look at that. Oh! Oh no. Oh! 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 This is a mess. Alright, well. Oh god! There's no way to grab this guy. There's no way to grab this guy. Oh, he smells so bad. All right, so there's the gar right there. Gonna go ahead and toss him back. That was crazy. There he goes, he swam off. Ah, 
That was crazy, man. <laughs> oh, the gar, there's gar juice everywhere in this boat. Or this jet ski is freaking disgusting. That gar got juice everywhere. So right now I'm gonna kind of just do some circles and freaking get some of that juice out of the side of my well here on my jet ski. pretty good it cleaned out the whole side sweet well guys we are back at the boat ramp the jet ski and myself made it back we did get one fish it was a gar it wasn't a bass I've never really fished this so even catching a fish I'm pretty happy with that today was mostly just gonna be a learning experience for me anyway basically how to fish efficiently off this jet ski how I can mount my stuff how not to mount my stuff a lot of trial and error stuff here today but it was ultimately a phenomenal time. I can definitely see myself doing this in a bunch of different areas. I have a bunch of different applications for the jet ski, so super, super stoked about that. So I came out here and completed a goal of mine, which is to catch a fish off a jet ski. Unfortunately, it was a gar, but whatever. A fish is still a fish, so I'm happy with that. Right now, though, I'm going to put all the fishing stuff up, and I'm just going to go out and enjoy the jet ski. Just go tear it up, do some donuts on it, and just have a really, really good time. So. I really appreciate you guys watching the video to this point. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a big old thumbs up if you liked the jet ski video. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see me do on the jet ski here in the future. I'm about to go rip it up and uh, just have a good time. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Real quick guys, I just want to take a second to say thank you. You know, you guys watching these videos and you guys supporting me as much as you have, it really allows me to come out here and live my wildest dream. So I just seriously, genuinely, I want to thank you guys. You guys are changing my life one day at a time. It's insane. Thanks guys.